Couple Scorpio Singles, Elsie here to give you a reading. Happy Saturday to you. I hope the weekend is good. I hope you're enjoying yourself, at least doing a little bit of self-care. Hope you're having a restful weekend. If you are not the person who has to do the 9 to 5 on a Saturday. And even if you are, it's all a perception, right? All right. Okay. I don't know why I just did a great big sigh for you. Kind of lost my breath there for a moment. Really big sigh. It's like I couldn't get enough energy, enough uh, enough uh, air. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. When I say singles, this reading is for singles. That means you're not dating anybody. You're not married. Um, if you are, this reading is not intended for you. Please be aware. You are always welcome as a cross watcher. Always, always. Here we go. Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Scorpio, singles. What is coming up? Is it someone new, please? Looking for whatever's coming up. Okay, we'll get two. Let's do it. We've got wisdom, which is the Hierophant, right? Wisdom, faith. Yeah. Um, following the signs, following your faith, following what it is that you feel that you're supposed to do and helping each other along the way, helping others along the way. We have solitude, which is card number nine, and card number nine is the hermit, right? I feel like you've been spending time alone or time by yourself. And when I say by yourself, it could be that you know, maybe you live with a roommate, but you get to spend a lot of time by yourself. Like, I don't mean that you're totally alone, but I feel like you're seeking out solitude lately, uh, Scorpio. That's what I feel. You're seeking out solitude. You're seeking out... Um, hmm, I want to say, um, Charlie, I said knowledge. I wanted to say you're seeking out knowledge. I should have pushed it out my lips, but Charlie just said you're seeking out reverend knowledge. So it feels like it's someone who is learning how to act appropriately when you don't get your way or when things don't go your way. Um, I feel like you're going over details in solitude about your faith and how you, um, how you handle things of a spiritual nature. I feel like for some of you, you could be seeing a psychologist or a psychiatrist, someone who deals in healing of the mind. Because I feel as though with the solitude here, I feel it's something that you're learning. They both have books, right? They're both holding books. And so I feel like they are, um, they're both learning something. I feel you're learning things of spirituality while you're in the solitude. I don't think you expected that, though, to be honest. I feel as though you didn't expect that by being alone. I think that you're reason for being alone was definitely didn't start out being a spiritual thing but as you stayed in the solitude and, and began to learn or you took on an interest where you started looking things up i feel you're starting to come to answers and that is faith having you know faith is having faith is like you don't know that it's there but you're going to trust it because there's just nothing else that you can do at this time i feel like you feel that you have to trust your faith and go on spirituality. Um, make sure that you're making good decisions based on that. I don't think that you expected that you would become spiritual after being in solitude, but that's what happens. I'm telling you, spend some time alone for a couple of years. And uh, yeah, that's what will happen. Okay. What else do we have for Scorpio, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Scorpio singles. Scorpio singles. Okay, so we've got one, two, one more. All right, well, we're getting two. I'm not going to give them back. Bottom of the deck, we've got Apple. Temptation will test you. Interesting. That may be why you're supposed to be in solitude. Learning about wisdom, because there will be a lot of tests along the way. Temptations, possibly. We have Diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. We have November. It could be happening next month. We have Hat. You will be playing a different role. Interesting. And we have Firecracker. Excitement. Interesting. I think the 
precious, precious gift that you'll be receiving. It could definitely be a physical gift. Um, it says receiving or giving. You might have decided that when you do go forward and take action on whatever the excitement is, that I feel you will be giving them either a physical gift or they might be giving you a physical gift. However, solitude and wisdom are here. And so I feel that that means that this could end up being um, a gift, a spiritual gift. Yes, so for some of you, you will be, after spending time in solitude, you'll be realizing that there is a gift that you've received. We've got the moon. Whew, the tower. Come on now. Whew, it's heavy energy. It feels like heavy energy in my soul, like I just kind of sat back for a moment. And that might have been what my sigh was at the beginning, my heavy sigh. That's what it feels like. It's, oh, crap. Yeah, it's like you know in your soul that something's about to change, and you've gone through so much change this year, Scorpio. You've gone through lots of change, change of self, possibly change of partners, change of homes. There's been a lot of change for you this year. And I feel like my big sigh at the beginning was probably this moon and tower energy together. But I feel like this, this tower, it brings you some sort of gift. There we go. We've got the Two of Cups. Ooh, and the Ace of Wands. Look at that. In November, Scorpio, in November, you'll be playing a different role, it says here. In November, you'll be playing a different role in love and passion. Interesting. I love it. I love it, Scorpio. What's the excitement, please? The excitement is, oof, that you go from feeling unsure, I'm not sure if I want it, I'm kind of out of balance, I don't have enough, I don't feel like I'm enough. You go from the Two of Pentacles to the Fool, to the, uh, the energy of, I'm making this decision and I'm making it now, it's time to move forward. Because you've been waiting. You've been waiting, trying to get the backbone. That's what I always say when I see this. Trying to get the backbone, trying to figure it out, trying to get limber enough to move forward. We've got that ace, right? The ace between the knees here. You've got the ace of pentacles. And um, I feel like it is uh, somebody that you're waiting to offer something to and that you just haven't gone you just haven't decided to move forward yet, but you will be playing a different role in November in love and passion. So something new is definitely coming. Um, let's take a look here. I just want to take a little bit, little, little closer look here to wisdom and solitude. Tell me about wisdom and solitude, please. Wisdom and solitude. So you could be dealing with the Taurus because this wisdom is card number five. It is the Hierophant, but you could also be dealing with the Virgo uh, because we do have Virgo energy in solitude, which is the Hermit. We also have Pisces and Cancer. We also have Scorpio energy here. And we have Aries, the Fool. All right, so we have a message of concern. So, um... The message of concern is card number 14. I feel that whatever it is, the message that you're sending out or the message that you're receiving, I feel is going to give you balance. I feel that somebody who you used to not be speaking with or felt in lack with or it was silent because four and one is five, I feel like the message that you either get from them or you give to them is well received. We have the pathway because I feel like after being in this in this wisdom energy, the Hierophant energy and in solitude, I feel like you find your path. Yeah, that's kind of beautiful, Scorpio. I feel like you decide which way you want to go after thinking it over for a while. You decide which way you want to go and there's a gift again. This says you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. And here we have a gift again. The gift could be healing, because card number 17 in the tarot is healing. 
The gift could be healing, but I think you're working really hard on the path that you're on, trying to transform, making new decisions, and not being afraid to go toward the light, because now you know that the light at the end of the tunnel is not a train. You've realized that the light at the end of the tunnel was actually your spirituality. Time to call it in, and that could very well be the gift that's giving you balance, is that, that you're finally in spiritual balance. Yeah, there's a lot of change going on, right? So I feel like you're finally in spiritual balance here. And when you are, I feel like it's time for you to move forward with this gift. I feel you're taking into this situation, the situation that you don't know what's going to happen. You can't see the pathway clear. You're just going with your intuition. It's scary. It's dark. And there's a lot of change afoot. Right? We just saw that here too. There's a lot of change going on. And so I feel that the gift, the precious gift that you may be receiving could be discernment, that you finally know which way to go, even though it looks dark. The moon is containing things, right? It's containing things you don't speak of. And I feel like the tower is being thrown here because you've been in this stagnant energy here. And although it's it's helpful to be in solitude and this wisdom energy, I feel that there is a time for it and you can't stay there too long. Pop a tent, you know, be there with yourself, but don't live there. Close up that tent and move along. So you'll be receiving and giving or giving a precious gift. We've got the emperor in reverse. I think that you feel whoever you're going toward um, could be someone who is not going to be all that happy to see you. And you don't know the moon energy. You're not sure if this person's going to be in a receiving mood. So the emperor in the reverse, I don't see as a tyrant, a terrible person, or an abuser. I see it as the four kings, right? And when one of those four kings is in the reverse, I feel like there's something off for the emperor. The emperor is not necessarily, maybe the king of swords, not necessarily making logical decisions, but is now going with spirituality and how they feel rather than looking at the situation and being uh, incredibly logical about it without offering any emotion. I feel like, you know, if the King of Cups is in the reverse, that could be another reason why the, the Emperor is in reverse, because the Emperor is not sure about love. I'm undecided. Um, so when we think about the parts of the Emperor and who the Emperor is, whether that's you or your person, I feel like either you feel they won't be receiving of the gift or that you're not sure that you're ready to give it because you can't see the path clear. Tell me about the moon and the tower. There we go. I think that was the big sigh <laughs> at the beginning. Yeah, it's like I have to do this, but I'm not ready. I have to go see this person, but I'm not ready. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I have to make a big change in love. And when the tower falls, you don't have a choice. It pulls down the illusion that you used to be living. So I feel like all of the things that you thought you knew about religion or spiritualism or the wisdom that you thought you had about it, um, that you didn't realize that gift um, would multiply or amplify as you went into solitude. You're trying to make the decision to move forward, but I don't know that you're ready just yet. We have uh, this possibly happening in November. You'll be playing a different role in love and in passion. Tell me about this. This is what you've manifested, and to be honest, whatever you want, wants you. So if this person is someone you want to go toward, I feel like they're going to receive. I feel like um, the universe has been trying to conspire to bring someone into your life that is going to not only be incredibly passionate about you, really attracted to you, uh, you're really attracted to them, but I also feel like there is a beautiful exchange of cups here, of emotion, of love. Yeah. Here we go. There's the big guy, right? I feel like you've grown. Um, that's you, Scorpio, right? Of course, in a general reading, it's also Pisces and Cancer, but I feel like you've grown. You're now emotionally intelligent. You can now, you know what you want to do with your love energy. I feel like it's all, it's all sitting within the King of Cups. You love deeply. You, you, um, you are someone who feels deeply. You're quite romantic. And I feel like you want the same right? You want, I feel like you want the same things, the things that you want, you want to find in someone else. I feel like you're going to find that. Scorpio. I feel like that's the kind of person that's coming to be the lover. 
I feel like it's going to be a moment's notice when you decide that it's going to be time to go. Uh, because the tower is here, it's going to cause upheaval and change. And I feel that um, you will be ready once once the tower is done falling. I feel like you will be ready. Firecracker, the excitement. What is this? All right. You're not telling anybody. You're feeling really excited about going on your path when you're single seven and two is nine i just saw that that's charlie caught that yeah when you're single i feel like you're waiting for something to happen feel enough um uh, for some of you, I feel like if you already are single, that maybe you're just waiting for the divorce to be signed. Um, I feel like you are not telling anybody because the high priestess keeps a lot of secrets, right? She is silent and she's by herself and doesn't tell anybody things. You know, she's holding the scroll of, of, um, of things that have happened in the past. I feel like you, oh, this could have something to do with the eclipse that's coming. That you might decide to move on it when it comes to uh, around eclipse time. You could decide to move on this. Yeah, you're going to communicate with someone. Someone that you are interested in a partnership with. And a partnership to me isn't romantic, okay? For me, it's not. It's just people that get together that have the same knowledge about something and they want to support each other, be on the other person's team. This Either Scorpio, you really love watching someone else work that they have maybe at the top of their game and they're doing really well, or maybe that person likes to watch you. But I feel like you're looking for partnership. Yeah. You are looking for someone who can be not only a good partner, but a good lover and someone who's really passionate. Someone who feels as deeply for you as you do for them. It could also be somebody who already does, but maybe they are Scorpio. Or maybe they are someone who is not used to showing um, their emotions to you on the surface. But please know that this person, if you go toward them in November, I feel that November is the time that you're supposed to seek this person out, Scorpio. And uh, I feel like they want the same things that you want. What's the future, please? Nine of Swords. Justice. So the Nine of Swords and one sword that the Justice is holding is Ten Swords. So the cycle comes to an end. It's a cycle of silence. I don't think you're talking to this person. We've got moon energy here. I don't necessarily know that you two are in contact with each other. There's a lot of silence before the communication. We're going on a new path here. Even though I feel a little bit unbalanced, nothing's perfect and I'm moving forward anyway because I need my Justice. Because I feel, I also feel like there's a lot of opportunity out there, but I don't want any of the opportunity. I want what I want. It's also very overwhelming for you emotionally. It feels like you've grown up here to this emotional king of cups. Emotionally intelligent. Now you know how to hold on to your emotions. You know how you have a better understanding of your emotions. You've grown from that. But I feel like it's still getting this justice um, after the nine of swords makes you nervous. There we go having courage to move forward to find your person. Whether you already know who that is or whether you don't, I feel like you are going to find the courage to move forward in the month of November and find someone who is your perfect match because you've healed. I think there's a warning of, of, of uh, you know, I feel like you want to go really quickly toward this partnership, but I feel like there's a warning that you should move at it slowly because I see that in the Three of Pentacles as well. Move forward slowly. Don't move it really quickly. The communication can come in quickly, absolutely, but I feel as though the other stuff needs to... Um, needs to move slowly. You need to move slowly into love. You need to take this in piece by piece instead of love bombing, instead of having someone love bomb you. I think you're supposed to move at it slowly. Yeah, the communication can be quick, but I think the partnerships should transpire slowly. Yeah. There we go. I think the reason you're making a decision about love um, about moving forward, about playing, you know, a different role in November is because you feel like somebody that there's competition for somebody that you want, someone who fits this bill of the two, um, and you want to have a, a reunion with them, right? Could be harsh words that were spoken the last time you saw each other, but under there, I think we see the Ten of Pentacles, which is the long-term relationship. But what I was looking at is this, right? You think there's a lot of opportunities or a lot of competition for the person that you want to take on a date, or the person that you want to reunite with. 
And um, I, don't, I don't really know a Scorpio who would ever back down just because there's competition. I'm just saying. <laughs> whether you're feminine or masculine, I don't think there's any Scorpio on the face of the earth, whether no matter where it comes up in your chart, is ever going to back down from the competition. I don't think you will. I think that you know you're this. You know that you have the ability to give as much love as possible. And I think you're going to communicate that to somebody. Yeah, I feel like you've learned all of this in while you were in in solitude. Yeah, you were getting full of wisdom. That's what you were doing. Scorpio, I'm going to go for now. If you're interested in a private read, please look below. You'll find everything you need in the description, including a link to Wizio, which is the only place you can book me. I'm going to go for now. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.